Hi! I have just released the second feature update to the Shortcut Composer plugin. As it introduces some changes to user interface, I thought it's a good time to make a follow-up video to the one I made on the plugin release. Just in case you're new to the topic, a Shortcut Composer is my free plugin for Krita, which adds various keyboard shortcuts. The most popular being Pi menus for picking tools, brushes and other Krita properties. If you need an overview of all the plugin features, you may want to check out the original video first. But let's not waste time and head straight to what's new, hmm? The first thing you'll notice when activating a Pi menu is the button with which you enter the edit mode. You see in the previous version it was done by clicking on any of the icons, but that was too easy to do it by accident. Drag and drop functionalities got updated significantly. Apart from changing the icons order, you can now remove and add new icons by moving them from the window on the right. The second tab of this new settings window allows you to tweak some of the Pi configuration. For now you can only change the size of Pi and its icons, but that section will grow with future releases. Also keep in mind that the size of the icons is restricted by the space they have. So if you add so many of them that they touch each other, you won't be able to make them bigger without providing them with more space. The red, green and blue Pi menus for selecting brushes are a bit different from the rest. At least for now they are still based on crit attacks, so you can only change their order. To add or remove the displayed brushes, just edit the tags using the preset docker. Good news is that now you don't need to reload the plugin after doing so, as the Pi should detect the changes automatically. Also, the tracked tag can now be picked from the Pi's local settings, which feels like a more intuitive place to do so. As you no longer need to manually tell the plugin that tag changed, the reload shortcut composer action was removed, so the only one left in tools scripts is the one for configuring the values unrelated to any specific action. It got simplified a lot, as the values used in Pi menus are no longer part of global configuration. The only action which is not a Pi menu, but was configurable before, is the cycle selection tools. That's the one that lets you assign a few tools to one button and cycle between them. To modify it, long press its keyboard shortcut and click the button on the top left corner of the panic area. One last thing I'd like to mention is the new configuration system which is the most important feature added in this release. It allows plugin actions to create and then control their own settings. The reason I'm telling you this technical detail is that now it became much easier to create action duplicates. Just check this out. If your workflow would benefit from having multiple pies with tools or more than three colored pies with presets, you can go to settings, uh, manage resources, open resource folder, Pi Krita, Shortcut Composer, and here edit the two files with word action in their names. All you need to do is to find the action you want to duplicate using Ctrl F, copy paste it and provide with a new action name. Just keep in mind that you have to do that in both files I mentioned. Once you restart Krita, you should see those actions in the keyboard shortcut settings and because they create the own configuration, you can finish them off directly from Krita without coding anything. Now that wraps this video up. Updating the plugin is just as simple as downloading it for the first time. You get a zip from the plugin page and then import it without unpacking with Krita's tools, scripts, import Python plugin from file. Big thanks to everybody who tried out the plugin in the past three months. Have a lot of fun with this updated version and see you in the next video. Cheers!